Tool Farm. Hi, this is Michelle from Tool Farm. This is often what I look like when I travel for work. I'm wearing a wrinkled Tool Farm shirt. Yes, I roll them in my suitcase, but they always seem to come out looking a little bit sloppy. I'm going to show you how you can digitally iron clothing in your video with a filter from Boris Continuum Complete. This footage was shot by my friend Peter Sensor, who's a DP, and he runs a company that converts photographic lenses to motion lenses, RP lens. It was shot handheld. And to digitally iron my shirt, I didn't need to do any tracking. I just needed to isolate the blue color of my shirt. I'm going to show you a cool trick with this plugin using the Pixel Chooser. The purpose of the BCC Smooth Tone filter is to smooth skin. Maybe you have an aging starlet, or maybe your talent's going through adolescence. BCC Smooth Tone is included with Boris Continuum Complete, which works in After Effects and Premiere. There's also an Effects Plug version for Final Cut, an AVX version for Avid, one for Sony Vegas, and one for Autodesk Sparks. I should add that Boris just came out with upgraded units. The Continuum units are smaller bundles of the filter from Continuum Complete. BCC Smooth Tone is in the Image Restoration Unit, which also includes a deflicker tool, a tool for removing bad pixels, and another for fixing jaggy edges. Which brings me to a quick plug for my free live training on restoration and touch-up in After Effects this Thursday, February 28, 2013. You can sign up here it will be fun. I know that you'll probably be seeing this video after the training session happens, so I'll put the archive link up here on YouTube. Now for the part you've been waiting for, dun, 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 dun. digitally ironing clothing with BCC Smooth Tone. Here I have the footage. This is just the, the plain footage here. You can see me all wrinkled. I'm going to apply BCC Smooth Tone. Now this is under the effects menu, under BCC Image Restoration. You can see all the other plugins in there and I'm going to choose BCC Smooth Tone. So what I'm going to do first is use one of the presets. Now, all of the Boris plugins come with presets. I'm going to be using less detail smoother.bsp. I'm gonna set this to smoother first off for the method. And um, now you can really see the effect. I'm going to zoom in more on the shirt here so you can really see it. Move it over a bit. One of the little problems I'm going to run into here is keeping the logo sharp. I want to only de-wrinkle the shirt. I don't want to soften this logo. So that is a problem here, but you can see how nicely this takes out the, a lot of the wrinkles. Now I could turn this up even more. I could turn up the iterations until I find something nice and smooth. Now this does start to look like a, a bit of a painting, so you want to be careful not to Turn it up too high. I can also change the radius to give it more blur. That's of course way too much, so let me turn that back down. I'll try about two for the iterations. But that's a little better. Let me toggle it on and off so you can see the effect. It's taking out a lot of the fine detail, the fine lines here, and leaving in the bigger details. Now, it is blurring everything, as we said, so that's the next step. What we need to do next is remove the logo from the mat. So what I'm going to do now is go to the Pixel Chooser. Right now it's set to off. I will turn it on. Once I turn Pixel Chooser on, notice that it's no longer grayed out here. I have access to all of the settings here. But you have two options here. You have the region, which is a mask, and the mat, which will allow you to choose a channel, which is what we'll use now to isolate that blue. Instead of using blue, I'm going to choose Hue Diff. I'll use the eyedropper here for color and choose a blue. I'll try to get it in the medium area of the shade. Uh, I can change this if I need to. Maybe a little bit brighter here. I want to be able to see the mat so I can see where the shirt is being isolated. So under Pixel Chooser, I'm going to choose View Chosen Pixels. Now we want to isolate that shirt. As you can see here, the blue is not even being selected right now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the blue channel is often very noisy in digital footage. Let me move this more towards the center, so you can see what's being affected here. Uh, what I want to do is have the shirt be as white as possible and everything else blacked out. If I go back to on, you can see what's being affected here. The background's already in a soft focus, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me set this back to view chosen pixels. Now, one of the obvious things is to invert the mat here. So I click invert mat, you can see how Definitely the shirt is more chosen, but I want to get rid of this other stuff. And the way to do that is to adjust the black levels and the white levels. But I want to make sure, make sure that we have nice black and white for the logo as much as possible and the least amount of noise in the shirt. 
that's probably pretty good. There's a little bit of noise in here for the wrinkles, but I think that'll be okay. And again, I'm not gonna worry about this background stuff because I'm gonna use a region to isolate the shirt. So let me set this back to on, so you can see what it's affecting now. And if I toggle the effect on and off, you can see the wrinkles are going away, but the logo is staying pretty darn sharp. It's a little bit soft here in the plugin software and sales or plugin software sales and distribution. So let me zoom in here on that area and I can go in and tweak the mask settings a little bit more. I also sometimes helps to use range or use threshold. And I can also choke the mat or blur the mat. So maybe choking the mat's the way to go. Again, I'm gonna switch the pixel chooser to view chosen pixels. And I'll just choke the mat a bit, see what that looks like. So I may want to adjust my black levels and white levels a little bit. So you just basically wanna find a happy medium. Okay, so after messing around with the levels a little bit, I came up with this, which is not perfect, but uh, it'll, it should probably work pretty well. I wanna keep the wrinkles out and um, keep the text nice and sharp in the logo. Let's see how this looks. Let me set this back to on. So what I've found when using this plugin, if I can't get a nice clean um, logo here, what will work is changing the, the shade of blue and um, just sort of mess with the color selection here until I find something that works really well. Maybe I'll get something closer to the logo area and that will help me out here or not. Okay, that's actually not too bad, right about there. So uh, let me just um, toggle this on and off for you a minute. So after futzing around with the color just a bit and making a few adjustments to the mask, this is what I've come up with. You may notice this little lamp that's showing up here. Uh, it's one of those can lamps. Let me turn it off so you can see here. Now, it's not really gonna matter if it's showing in this shot or if it's being blurred. I mean, the background's so blurred anyway. However, if in your case it does matter, let me show you how you can isolate that using region. And this uses masks as opposed to matte. So I have this set up again to view chosen pixels. Let me twirl open region and I'm gonna set the shape to inside rectangle. You can use your own mask as well. You do have the option to show the widget for the edges and that's up here. So you can see the edges of it, which is nice. You can also just choose this top left and bottom right crosshairs. I'm going to um, move up the screen a little bit so I can see the bottom of the image. Get that bottom right shown again. It's over here. Now I don't move around a lot on screen, so it's probably fine. You can see that the light is cut out of the shot. Let me just move ahead to make sure that my shirt stays in frame. And it doesn't the whole time. So let me just move that up a little bit. Now there is also an option to feather, if I needed to feather. And that is region blend. Now let me turn it way up so you can see what it looks like. You can see that it's starting to cut that off. Actually, if I pull this over in the middle, you can see the, what it looks like a bit more, how it's a gradient on the mat. Uh, we don't need this though, so I'm gonna turn region blend back to zero. And there's also an option to reverse the range if you want to select everything outside of your box, which you don't need to. And uh, that's good to go. So let me set this back to on, and I'll do a quick RAM preview. All right, so here's what it looks like again with the effect on. Notice the shirt looks quite de-wrinkled compared to what it was. And it doesn't look odd in any way. It doesn't look like it was digitally manipulated. The logo stays pretty darn sharp. Overall, I would say it's a success. One last thing I wanna show you is compare mode, and this would be used as opposed to toggling the effect on and off. So at the very top of the effect controls, you see compare and I can change compare mode to side by side. And you can see the effect. Now my shirt's not very centered. This is obviously before and after. And I can slide, slide myself around here so that my shirt's more in the center of the screen. So easy enough and that will play all the way through so I can load that in compare mode if you wanna see it running. All right, so here it is playing the before and after side by side in compare mode so you can have a look at it. 
then load the whole thing, but it gives you a good idea. Well, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. And if you have questions, you can hit me up at michelle at toolfarm.com. That's Michelle with one L. This presentation was recorded with Telestream ScreenFlow 4, available at toolfarm.com. Thanks for watching.